we're going to cover dumping the bar when you're squatting and you find yourself at the bottom and you can't get back up. So first of all, when you're getting set up for your squats, you want to make sure that everything is set up for you. Don't just walk into the rack and start squatting. You want to make sure that um, pegs are set up with the bar height at a level that you're able to correctly get it up and not have to get up on your tippy toes to get it off or have to like squat down to get it up. Get that set up. Then you've got your safety bars. So they'll be at all different levels depending on who is on the rack before you. If I started here without looking at them, I might think that they're gonna be able to help me, but in reality, when I get down into the squat, I'm parallel and I still have a good foot to go before I can even reach them. So for me to be able to dump them will be really difficult. I'd have to drop it off my back, but it's gonna make a big crash and it's not ideal. So you don't want them to be too low. You also don't want them to be too high. I set it up here and I got into the squat. The height is so high that I'm gonna be nervous about hitting it when I'm getting to full depth in the squat. So you don't wanna be worrying about the bars in your normal range of motion. So you're gonna look and see where you're at, squatting to depth, and set the bar slightly, set the bar slightly lower than that. So I am gonna go. And of course, practice with the bar unloaded without any weight before you start loading it up. So I'll set up. Now, if I'm squatting, do a few reps, and I get stuck at the bottom, I have a couple options. I can either just slowly go a little bit lower and rest it, and then crawl out from underneath it, or if I was here, I could just drop it behind me off my back, but there's not a big distance for it to have to drop and I feel safe and secure. So practice with the bar only, get yourself set up, find your level, and then you'll be good to go.